flood hazards when buying property in Georgia. Let's talk about that. Hi, my name is Tonya Bird and I am a realtor in the great state of Georgia. And today we're talking about properties that could have potential flood hazards. And what does that mean to you as a buyer? And what does it mean to you as a seller? Because if the boundaries have changed, the flood zone boundaries, and when you bought the house, it wasn't in a high risk flood zone and now it is, how that could affect the sale of the house as well as affect the buyer who's buying the house. So in Georgia, buyers are obligated to do their own investigation about everything about a property because we're in a buyer beware state. So they really don't need to rely upon what's in the seller's disclosure because again like i said this seller may have bought the home in, when it was a low risk flood zone area and now it's moved into a higher risk and so the best way to really do your due diligence on this is to reach out to your insurance provider have them pull the fema firm map to determine what zone you're in and i guarantee you that if you're getting a mortgage on a property the lender is going to require that you get some kind of flood certificate so they know what kind of risk they're also getting into. Now there are different types and levels of flood zones and you can certainly go on the FEMA website to go see the different descriptions behind the different zones. What you need to know is there's a 500 year floodplain which tends to be in the low and moderate risks areas and those typically don't require any kind of flood insurance by a lender and even though there's low risk at this it doesn't mean that you shouldn't get flood insurance this is the premiums tend to be lower compared to the more higher risks areas and in the more higher risk areas you may have a flood hazard where it's waves coming in or rapid moving channel of water and that's going to be zoned differently compared to uh, shallow water where the water may rise two to three feet and of course every one of these different zones understanding what the cost involved is because everyone will be charged a different insurance premium based on the zone so fema is known as the federal emergency management agency and they are the ones who kind of manage the whole flood insurance thing they don't sell flood insurance they certainly regulate it so it doesn't matter which insurance provider you go through the premiums are going to be the same no matter what and it's there to protect you from a flood and this is one thing that i think people get confused about homeowners insurance versus flood insurance if the leak occurs inside the house from like say a supply line from a toilet or under a sink, then it's going to fall under your homeowner's insurance. If the water flood comes from the outside into the house, so meaning it comes through the front door and, and or creeps up into the house from the outside, that's covered under flood insurance. And what happens a lot of times is that people aren't insured appropriately because they think it's the homeowner's insurance that's going to take care of it and homeowner's insurance does not take care of water coming in from the outside. And of course flood insurance is not something that uh, is guaranteed to pay for all damages. So having that conversation with the insurance agent and really understanding what's covered is key here. By the way, some areas don't even allow for flood insurance. In 1982, there was this law passed to where the US government decided to protect development around the oceans areas uh, from like where the dunes and land barriers are to kind of keep the ocean back from off the land and from flooding. And so anything built prior to 1982 in this area can get flood insurance, anything that was built after can't. So if you're buying a vacation home or, or you wanna go live by the beach here in Georgia, then again, reach out to the insurance company, have a conversation, understand the risk you're taking before you buy that property. 
So I hope I haven't scared you to death about flood insurance or floods or high risk flood areas because really it's up to you as a consumer to determine whether or not you want to take the risk of buying a home in a high risk area. I mean, after all, you can enjoy being by the ocean and having recreation around a body of water or just sit back and relax. There is a um, an enjoyment to that. So it's really up to the consumer to determine whether or not they want to have that enjoyment and roll the dice and taste the risk. And really that is up to you and nobody else but you can determine that for you and your lifestyle. Finally, you can have an insurance agent pull what's called a clue report. This is a report that allows you to look back on history of a house and see how many insurance claims have been made. So that's another thing that you can do to be proactive in determining whether or not uh, a house is at risk for a flood and if there's been any damages from a flood. Well, I hope this helped you with understanding a little bit more about flood insurance and what it's like here in Georgia to like really do your due diligence on an area and to determine if buying a home in a flood zone is best for you. If you need help in the greater Atlanta area, let me know. I'm here to help and otherwise I'll see you guys later. Bye. Are you digging the kind of content I'm producing? Then be sure to watch this next video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way, you'll be in the know when I release my next video.